What's up guys, Jivin back with another video and today I'm going to tell you how I end my bad streaks in Arena. Arena has never been harder than this season, so if you're having a rough time, this should help you get back in your groove. Let's hop into it. So I literally have a couple steps and this works for me every single time. The first step is playing a lot of Arena for like a day or two. Just suck it up and grind that Arena out. The whole time that I'm doing this, I'm trying to record every single game or at least make sure that my replays are on. This is pretty key for a later step in this video and just for getting better in general so you can watch your games back and learn from your mistakes. I'm gonna be going over that that step at the end of this video because it's the longest part. After I do a day or two of arena, I'll literally just spend most of my time in creative and custom games. I'll spend my time doing tons of 1v1s, trying to work on my mechanics, get my mechanics back on par and sped up and confident. I also make sure I'm running scrims, I'm telling you putting yourself in those high tier environments where you're practicing against other players that are trying to get better is a really good way to get your arena game back on track. It also just helps with tourneys so it's a double win. You can also spend some of your time in practice maps whether it be Raider Peace Control or Mechanics. And now something that I've heard a lot of people say is that these practice maps, you know, they don't actually simulate a real game environment and it's not worth doing and it's just boring. But Believe it or not, I was actually in a call with Cease, who is one of the most elite tier 1 players, and he says that he spends a lot of his time in Raiders practice maps. He told me the weakest part of his games is mechanics because he's on that boomer status like me, and so he spends a lot of his time in those practice maps just to speed up his mechanics and get them more consistent. Links for every creative map I recommend are in the description. So doing that and then hopping back into arena and grinding it out again can help you get back on track, but the main step that really helps me out and helps me improve in the long run and get my game back on point, which is why we recorded on that first arena session. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to be walking you through how exactly I find my mistakes in arena. It's really not that hard, but I need to do this for myself, so I figured I might as well make it into a video. I'm literally just going to go over every single death from Arena. There's going to be some fights against Tier 1 pros. I actually hopped into replays and a lot of the Anonymouses were Tier 1s. So let's hop into it. So this first game is something that I do a lot, especially when I'm dropping at Tilted. Sometimes we get screwed by RNG, we do not get the fighting loot we need off spawn. In those situations, we need to start being a rat, start ratting out hiding, and be more patient until we can escape and find better loot. I rushed it here and it caused me to die. This next game, there's two players up I initially push in the wrong way. I knew one player was on my back and I just put myself right in the middle of them. Before I push this first player, I need to position myself on the opposite side of him so I'm not pinched and getting sprayed at from two directions. I also could have taken some time and farmed. Now in this situation, I simply rushed everything. I rushed my mechanics and ended up choking here and getting shot because I placed a ramp behind me. You'll see it right here. Put me in an awkward position. But then I'm rushing my heals. I should have been more patient. I still had a lot of mats. I need to make sure that I'm solidified and not going to get jumped in on while splashing. A good way to do this is being patient and trying to pre-fire the enemy because he knows I'm weak and he's over pushing. So just slow down in these situations. Now this is one of the most important things that I need to stress to you guys and I'm sure this happens to you all the time. I had all the control in the fight on this one player, but there were more players around. Anytime there's a high chance of a third party, Never jump in the enemy's box. By doing this, you put yourself in a position where you can't get out fast enough, and that led to my death. There's gonna be lots of third-party clips throughout this video, it's the biggest thing I've been learning. So this is another one of those situations where I didn't have a pump off spawn at Tilted, and I should have probably ratted out and tried to get a pump before fighting, because Tilted always has really high skill players. But if I ever do get caught in a fight like I do here with a gray auto shotgun, the best thing to do is 50-50 while still healthy. I feel like, I don't know, man. It's really hard to say. The auto shotgun is just so bad, but I don't think I've ever won a fight against a pump shotgun where I'm taking peak shots because you can hit like five peak shots in a row and you'll do like 90 damage. And if they just counter peak one of those, they'll literally hit you for 100. It's such an unfair fight, so I really should try to avoid fighting in these situations or 50-50 while I'm still healthy. That's the best thing I can take out of this. It was just a really unfair fight when it's a pump versus an auto shotgun. This is another thing I'm really trying to start avoiding. Look at my mats. I still had like 800 mats. I have plenty of mats to build fight, but 
I'm build fighting so hesitantly. I'm almost playing like I have 100 mats total. When you got the mats, just be confident and play your game. Don't play in a box, unless you're in a situation with a lot of third parties around, but I wasn't. I also left my top open here, just lack of awareness. This again, like, I don't think I saw in the moment that there was a third party to my left, but I end up getting absolutely fried because I just left that side open. If I saw him, I definitely would have blocked it off. That was obviously a mistake, but the biggest mistake was later. You can see I'm on the run, I have plenty of mats, I'm creating space. And then the guy is just full psychoing me. I end up doing some damage and I get overconfident sometimes when I get some good damage dealt. I should have still kept healing though. I completely forgot that there was a third party around. Just oblivious mistakes in arena. Play slow and safe when third parties are around. Next clip is something that I think a lot of us need to work on, not 50-50ing ever. A lot of times when I'm doing like an edit course and I think I have a clip opportunity, I'll just open up a wide edit, but if I can start doing optimal edits in those situations, one, it'll make for a cleaner clip, and two, I'll win more fights. Literally, the very next clip is the same exact thing, just a not optimal edit. But also, when I make this edit here, I run a little bit too far forward, so then I couldn't reset my wall in time to keep him out of my box. If you're getting people SMGing in your box, make sure you're not doing that same mistake. See how I walked forward into his box a little? That's why I died. This is a big mistake that a lot of people make with the Martaz peak. You gotta be aware of what gun the enemy has out. If he's far forward on your ramp like that, and he has an SMG out, you're dead. But if he had pump out, I probably could have won that. So I start the fight here with a disadvantage, but this peak that I do when I'm already weak is the problem. He hit me so hard, and it's because I was looking at an angle where I couldn't place my wall fast enough. When doing that peak, the way you make it safe is by instantly placing a wall blocking your angle, but because it was a diagonal angle, he was able to hit me super hard here. In this clip again, you can see that one of my biggest problems in the game is simply taking 50-50s. I gotta stop giving people the opportunity of spraying SMGs in my box and getting me weak like that. This is why we do these arena VOD reviews, to find repeated mistakes like that. It's all about finding repetition in your mess ups. And looky here, same mistake. But another thing I'm realizing with this clip is off spawn fights at POIs. Don't build to the moon and give everybody angles on you, especially at shifty when people can be up on that mountain. This is a fight against Trashy. I actually had it in the bag at the start here with this Martaz peak, but I missed. It was literally a free max pump and then I could have just SMG to finish it. At the end of this fight, I literally just put myself in the most awkward position ever and died because I choked edits. I should never put myself under a ramp like that, bro. I didn't have many mats though it's the only thing biggest thing about this fight is i was just missing literally all my shots and i was doing that thing where i play like i have no builds when i have plenty of mats sometimes i do this and i try to just trust my aim but if i'm fighting against a good player they're just gonna set up an optimal peak and destroy me so when i got mats play like i got mats play confident and like I said, I wanted to do this video so that I could find repetitions in my gameplay that I need to fix, and I feel like I'm finding some good stuff. I really do recommend doing this if you're having a rough time in arena, even if you're not, it's a good way to learn. This was another situation where I was rushing my shots, not hitting heavy shots. We'll just skip on over that. And the last fight of the day is against Polarized. Literally, like, the most mechanical player in the game. First off, I mess up my crosshair placement when going for this wall reset here. Just a mechanical mistake. I swear I actually had him one shot earlier in this fight. Right here, I try to edit out the side after placing this ramp, but I need to edit out of the back in this situation. By editing out the side, you can see that he can easily take that and just keep the pressure on. And then this is just crazy. He claimed the back wall and the front wall at the same time. Just a mechanical demon, bro. Here's where I actually got him one shot earlier on. It was literally just my aim. Like, I just aim battled him. But anyways, guys, after you find your repeated mistakes, whether it be aim, whether it be mechanics, whether it just be IQ, figure out a way to fix it, whether it just be practicing 1v1s or practicing your mechanics. Then just add that to your warm-up routine and get back on that arena grind. And that's how I end a bad streak in arena.